I recorded this E major scale, and this was back when YouTube had their weird algorithms that fixed like shaky camera stuff. And when I recorded it, it wasn't really that shaky anyway, but the video just looks weird. So this is just a repost of the E major scale. I'm gonna basically do the same thing that I did before, which is play the scale, tell you what notes I'm playing, and then like play the rest of it up. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you how I did that. So basically, you just play your E major scale. Once you get to your palm E, I switch from the palm E to overblowing the E flat. And then from there, then I play the split F. I keep the E flat key down. So split F is one, three, and four. So I'll go from overblowing the E flat to split F holding the E flat key in order to play F sharp. For G sharp, I do one, two, three, and the side C. For A, I use a vented G sharp. That's just like G sharp with the first finger up. For B, I add the E flat key. You can leave these off, but this helps keep the pitch in tune. And then for C sharp, I use one. For D sharp, I use all open. And then for E, for this case, I use just five by itself. Either one of these works when you play that altissimo E. But I use five because it sets me up very nicely to go to the note that's above it. So here's your E major scale four octaves. Concert D. <laughs> So we're on our altissimo E, which is five. Then I add the shadow key. I call this the shadow key because it translates very easily into other languages. But that is the side E along with minus one, which is the E flat key. So you got five side E, E flat key in order to play altissimo F sharp. For altissimo G sharp, I use just three by itself. Altissimo A, I use just one. Altissimo B, the E flat key by itself. Altissimo C sharp, double altissimo C sharp. I use the front key with the high F sharp key. For alt double altissimo D sharp, I use the vintage G sharp again. And then for double altissimo E, I just finger A. So here's your E major scale four octaves. All right, so that's the scale. Thanks for tuning in.